Hey everybody, it's Matt, Wrestling with Whiskey, back with a special edition. I want to taste something special to me because this is actually one of the first store picks that I got to help out on. It wasn't, wasn't a Wrestling with Whiskey pick yet, but a friend of a friend was picking something for his local store. It is Cask and Cellar in Highland, Indiana. Rishi is the owner. He's an awesome, awesome guy. Uh, invited me over to help taste through some samples and help pick uh, their latest Knob Creek pick, which was this. And I recently was able to get a bottle of it. I'm hoping to do more picks maybe with them officially as Wrestling with Whiskey to get you guys to go out there, support local liquor store owners and everything. This one in particular is a great option. Good prices, good picks. That's exactly what you should be looking for um, in a liquor store. Great customer service. So this is a Knob Creek single barrel selection from Cask and Cellar. I was able to help, like I said, select this one. This one, what I like about this, they give you the barrel and bottle dates. So this is barreled in 2008 in October and it was bottled in November of 2019. So we are looking at right at 11 years old. Um, it is on Warehouse WE Floor 5 Rick 28. Not as old as some of the crazy old Knob Creeks you've seen lately in that 14, 15 year range. I've got a few of those. But I'm telling you, bourbon is beautiful. Beautiful from eight to 12 years, I think is such a key spot. Um, and these Knob Creek picks not will not cast strength at 120, give you pretty much cast strength. I remember tasting through these and we were tasting through them at Barrel Proof. And then we tried to proof them down and we had to do it on our own because we were tasting from samples in a kit. And we are not scientists, let's put it that way. But this barrel I remember stuck out to me. So I wanted to retaste it again, get your guys' attention, get your guys' eyes on both it and the store. So let's taste. Cheers. Oh. These knob picks. Single barrel knob creek. 11 years old. 120 proof. I mean, you really can't. Just the boldness of flavor. They, they, they pack a punch. But for 120 proof, and maybe I'm just used to it, the bite on the nose is not crazy. A lot of oak. Leather, black pepper, vanilla. Just a little hint. Not much of that, that Jim Beam who makes Knob Creek. They have a common kind of peanut, almondy note to me. Not getting a ton of that here, but there's a hint underneath. Just a nice cloud of peppery baking spices on there. Yeah, that's really nice. Mmm. You gotta take small sips of these because they're so strong, but they're packed with so much flavor to really enjoy it. The hug starts to happen. This one's front of the palate, rolls into the middle, down the back of your throat. More fruits come into it when it's on the palate. Mmm. Get this finish of like plum and dried cherries. These are good ones. I know they pack a punch, so they're good to enjoy slow. Really, really take your time with them. Just that viscous mouth feel. It was almost like a, a small champagne, like white grape note um, on this one. And I find that in a lot of maps, almost like this apple light fruit note on the palate. And again, like the white green grapes, green apple, just this light, crisp, fresh note in and amongst this deep, oaky, vanilla, nutty, Masterpiece. Mm. Yeah, the more you let it sit, the more you sip on it, you get more and more fruit on it. 
And that's what's great about these single barrels is they can, and any whiskey really, but these in particular, you get to learn more about them each time you sip them. Even just the five, ten minutes you let it sit out sometimes before you start drinking, little things can change with air or with time. So this is a really, really nice complex pick. I remember this being the most complex, and that's what we all agreed on. There was one I think was a little bit more sweet. And so it was really enjoyable, but this one just offered the most interesting level layered flavor. And to me, that's what I want. I want something that makes me think and makes me sit back and go, whoa, I'm tasting that. But also this, it's spicy, but it's sweet. You know, it's this, but it's that. I love something. It's a conversation piece bourbon. And in this case, the cask and cellar pick that I was lucky enough and honored to help pick on, um, is available. Thank goodness that our liquor stores are deemed essential because we need them in this time. Go check them out. I helped pick this one. It means it's better than the rest. Yeah, Rishi, you heard me. But we'll hopefully we'll do more in the future and we'll let you guys know. But support your local liquor stores like this, Cast and Cellar, Highland, Indiana. Go check them out. And always please be wrestling with whiskey.